Thank you very much, the Minister and the President Norito. So our fifth. Okay. I now invite you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Of our acolyte, and after that, okay. Uh, we are now going to head straight into the control room. We have been able to launch three very important components. One of them is where we are going to manufacture drones, uh, assemble drones, service drones, and even be able to, to upgrade drones. Drones is a, a new innovation in the modern warfare. You cannot do away with it now, uh, but uh, having it, it is safer to produce it in your own house than, than buying it out there. But we are also going to produce civilian-related drones. It's not only military drones, but also civilian-related drones, where you can use drones in the civil uh, works, like civil service, civil like agriculture mapping, soil mapping systems, these drones will be produced from here. So that is one component. The second component has been research and development and innovation center. Uh, we, you know, when you sit and wait for others to do it for you, it becomes a bit expensive and very difficult. Sometimes people don't want to part with their knowledge. So you have to uh, really build your capacity to be able to do research and uh, innovate on things that you really need. So we, in our military systems, there is a lot of science and so many things. There is a lot of change all the time in science and technology. So we need researchers and innovators in our system. And we have launched uh, the Science Research and Innovation Center. And the other part that, we have, that is very important is uh, we have also launched the, the new line where we <coughs> produce uh, uh, explosives. And uh, that new line is going to produce 900 tons per month. 
so that is uh, very it's a, it's bigger than what we had and uh, we as you know Uganda has got a lot of our, our the quality of our our product explosives is very good uh, it has been accepted all over internationally and even regionally so we have already eight countries buying from us uh, despite the international competition still so we have now launched a new line uh, <clears throat> thanks goes to you know, Choga Dynamics and the National Enterprises Corporation NEC so we are moving on uh, well and we are following the directives of the president to make sure that we modernize our systems and also we modernize the army and they also support the economy as UPDF and the defense. Hey, Gui Bin. 三十年的合作已经让我们双方成为共同成长我们期待能够共同将其打造成为沙哈拉以南非洲的无人机产业中心 Distinguished guests, over 30 years of cooperation has made us comrades who have grown together and marched forward side by side. Norinko is honored to be a contributor and builder of this UAE workshop. I firmly believe that this cooperation will effectively enhance Uganda's military capabilities, create social values, drive economic development, and elevate Uganda's international influence. We look forward to jointly building it into the UAV industry hub of sub-Saharan Africa. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Norinko and Ruero Industries have a very, very long history. As you know, in 1989, Norinko started the construction of Ruero Industries, which was completed and commissioned by His Excellency the President in 1994. Since then, we've been working together closely, and indeed, it is Norinko which was responsible for the upgrade of the factory a few years ago. Uh, today here, we are having a groundbreaking of the UAV assembly, testing, maintenance, and training center. Honorable Minister, uh, a decade ago, a decade plus, when we were still in the staff college, they used to tell us that UAVs are open of the future. Now the future is here because you cannot talk of any, any battle without the use of a UAVs. So we are now in the future, and therefore I wish to thank uh, Norinko for helping us to build the capacity and to prepare us to this future. We believe that the equipment we shall make here, we shall assemble, will be used. Uh, for many results, for many applications, surveillance, reconnaissance, even in combat. I'm happy that we are also going to train our own personnel here so that immediately they have set up this facility, it will be our own people of the UPDF, maybe from Air Force, who will be responsible for this entire project. So I thank them for agreeing to transfer the technology and skills to our people. Honorable Minister, sir, a country cannot guarantee its security without some level of self-reliance. We need this reliance in the area of defense. And this can only be achieved by developing a strong defense industrial base. Honorable Minister, we cannot have a strong defense industrial base without research, without innovation. This is the heart of any industry. Research and development is the heart of any industry. So by setting up this innovation and research center, Norinko is helping us to build our defense industrial base and therefore, in a way, promoting the defense, our defense industrial sovereignty. Maybe to add, Honorable Minister, that there are very few countries in the world which are willing to share some of these capabilities. Mm -hmm. Very, very few in the country share and transfer their military technology. And therefore, I used to wish to seize this occasion, salute Norinko and the Republic of China
for this great support. We shall be working closely here, our people from rural industries and uh, experts from China, and we'll be carrying out these uh, uh, innovations and research at this very center. First of all, I want to thank uh, the Honorable Minister for finding time to come and uh, uh, preside over these uh, three um, occasions of groundbreaking of the UAV Assembly, Testing, Maintenance and Training Center, commissioning the unique, that one, <laughs> and uh, commissioning the one we are about to see, the AMFO, that is the Ammonium Nitrate Fuel Oil Line under Choga Dynamics. As we commission these uh, uh, three facilities today, it is uh, clear, first of all, so a manifestation that Uganda and China are confident of the peace and the stability here. Otherwise, nobody would want to put these things here when he knows tomorrow he's going to leave them. These facilities also come at a time when we are very firm in His Excellency's uh, use of guidance on the workability of the doctrine of tripartite. That any genuine assistance must seek to build internal capacity. These people who come around pretending that they are coming to help us without helping us to build internal capacity. Ah, chunguza vizuri. So our friends here, you can see that what they are doing, they are going to help us build capacity. We, <coughs> at, Joga, at Joga Dynamics, we shall be now be having a line fully automated and so having such in the hands of everybody is very dangerous. The capacity they are helping us build today, as you will go to see, helps us control these possible materials for terrorism. It can be used for terrorism. So at this juncture, I would like to um, um, thank Jeno Mujira on the new bill. Uh, on, on, on explosives which gives us this mandate. It is very, very important to remember that defense industry is always a critical part of the broader national industrial base. And therefore, the growth of Uganda's defense industry manufacturing capabilities will have spillover effects and benefits for the broader national economy. So through Honorable Minister, we shall keep uh, requesting that uh, defense industry is maintained as a, a sacrosanct pillar for Uganda's development in our path to achieve Vision 2040. We must therefore thank our president for his strategic vision of self-reliance and other related guidance he always gives us to us to build a strong national security apparatus.